chapter 3. Now, the verse that the, the question came out of is verse 29. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost hath never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. What is blaspheming the Holy Ghost? And can we be forgiven? Or if a person who is not a believer blasphemed, can they be saved? Well, I want to back up in trying to... to uh, answer the question, what is blaspheming the Holy Ghost? If a kingdom, I'm going to go back up to verse 24. If a kingdom be divided against itself, the kingdom cannot stand. If a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. If Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand and hath an end. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. Verily I say unto you, all sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, and blasphemies wherewith soever they shall blaspheme. Now that word blaspheme is a word that means to talk against, to curse against, to ridicule, so on and so forth. But he that shall blaspheme, same, it's actually a different Greek word, but it means basically the same, against the Holy Ghost has a different tense on it or something like that, has never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. So what is blasphemy? It's talking against the things in denying the power of the things of God. Okay, and so the illustration in the context before that was, you can't be divided against yourself. You can't say you love God and curse God at the same time. It just doesn't work. And so we have to operate in this realm of understanding, okay, what is it that we can and can't do? So now, it's how we speak toward the things of God. Okay, so can a person who was not... Uh, born again, can they be? Um, can they be born again, or if they blasphemed against God? Well, in uh, Hebrews chapter four, uh, let's see here. Okay, here it is. <laughs> okay, in in Hebrews chapter six, verse four, it states, "For it is impossible for those who are once enlightened." So here we have the question about somebody who's never been born again. They were not enlightened. They they didn't understand the things of God. And have tasted of the heavenly gift. Well, obviously a born-again person has not tasted a heavenly gift. And we're made partakers of the Holy Ghost. Well, a, a person not born again has not been a partaker of the Holy Ghost. And have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. If they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance. And they crucify to themselves the Son of God afresh and put him to an open shame. So here we see that a person that doesn't know what they're talking about, that has not tasted the the goodness of God, they're really not in a position to blaspheme the things of God. Now, can it move to that? I think yes, in the sense that somebody could study out, say like an atheist, and they're going about trying to prove and dissuade people and persuade them into a, a realm where somebody else will walk away from God. Maybe they can step over into it even though they haven't tasted. So we have to be careful on how we deal with God, but blaspheming God is saying he doesn't exist, saying there wasn't no power, um, cursing him, making a mockery, especially after we've tasted it, especially after we walked in it. That's where the danger becomes in it. So what a great question. I think it, it would take a lot more time to, to delve into the, the intricacies of this. But as a, as a broad statement, I would say no, that a, a person that's not born again has never, don't, they don't understand or don't know what they're talking about, can blaspheme God, and you're blaspheming of God is especially after you walked with him, you've seen his goodness, you, you've been filled with the spirit, you know the power uh, that operates within the ghost, and then you turn against him. It's very, very dangerous. I do not recommend that. 